First opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Mike Pfeiffer. Here you go, set! Blue 60! Watch the screen! 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 Shoot! 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 And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Set, blue 50. Right there in the middle, 55. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. 32. Set 25. <laughs> A run for Tony Pollard, the Memphis product. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness, one cut and he goes, that's what's really made pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here we go, here we go. A first carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. It's a gain of three. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, look good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness.
First opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. For a lot of people, the MVP award means a quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. And they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen when we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him. Over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. On second down, it's Pollard. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. They had a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They'll go with Pollard here on first down.
First opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. You can script to diagram plays all you want, but no one really envisions something like that happening this early in the game. How about that run to get things started? Didn't he win NFC Player of the Week last week? Yeah, he was on fire a week ago. And what a start to this one. He had no sign of him cooling down at all. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple.
From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the New England Patriots. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Come on, fellas. Wait, that Wait, 20! Six, right there, right there, 56. There's a party now! Wait, 28! On first and 10, here's Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his truck. He'll bring this one out to the 27. Wait, that's the Pats at the line, ready to go. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They'll run for the first time with Sonny Michelle. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five at the 32-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Ozzy! Ozzy! Hey, echo! Now a play fake, Brady. Flushed out right, and that is incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. No, 66. Alert! Shotgun now for Brady. He's got White here. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, exactly. running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On second and nine, Brady. And 
his throw here is incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. And he'll have his man. That's Adelman. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. They go play action here on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. Off the edge, the sack by Reggie Ragland. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the edge definitely goes to the defensive player. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Call it a gain of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Let's go, defense. Our top. It's our top. Alpha. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They'll go for it. It's Brady. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Hey, Argelon, to throw again on second down, Mahomes going deep here for Watkins, and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Mike, Mike, 57, 57, 57, color, 57, color. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 
Hey, 15, 15, 15. Oh my Out of the pistol, here's Williams. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Mahomes going to throw, eluding the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. He A two-yard pickup brings up third and goal. Six go, plays go. got him down go, here. This is play number check seven, check third and goal. Lock screen. Check, check, boy, three. Check. The rip lift. Crunch. Jim, Jim, Jim. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And Butker able to put this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. First down, Patriots. Wait, so one right, play, wait, and they're already wait, just shy of midfield. Hey, check it. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Stop your whining. 36. 36. Hey, hey. From the gun, Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Emmanuel Agba. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Pick me up. Here we go. Ball 66. Hey, Delta. 53. Mike, Mike. I'm coming. He's in there. Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense... It... And this is caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 60 yards, and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. 
Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. You know, but oh, let me finish. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me at a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. First down, New England. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Brady. This is White on the screen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Two yards, good enough for a first. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. He's crashing. He's checking. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 19-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 at the 19. He's checking, he's jugger, jugger. They'll run with Michelle. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Escaping the pressure right. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. I got you, pump. Here's Brady to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Now Michelle stops short, down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get all the way to the end zone. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Punching it in from a yard away. As they are now on the board here in the first half. 
A one-yard run on first down, another one on second. It might not do much for the yards per carry average, but it gets him six points. And at contract time, you want to show touchdown score way more than you want to show yards per carry. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Let's get it together, defense. Now Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they may be giving up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you get this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. On the ground, Michelle. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Wait, that round 80, round 80. Mike, big stop, D. Big stop, let's go. Rip. 53 to Mike. 53, check. 53. Hey, zoo. Let's go. Let's go. From the 17, Brady. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Edelman there, and it's third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, 
You'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. In the final seconds of the first half, and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Extra points safely through, and a lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Come on now, let's go. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. On the ground, this is Williams. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They run it again with Williams. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Williams. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. The touchdown was scored by the runner, but the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. The extra point up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it.
The Pats at the line, ready to go. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know in the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Mike, rip left, rip left. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Brady now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Brady now, just 7 of 16 passing thus far, but he's got a first and 10. They'll run it here. This is James White, and that one goes for about 6 as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Hey, 66. Hey, hey, Wood. 72. From the 44, Brady, he's airing it out for Sanu. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off. Just as we saw there. Mahomes now on first down. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. So after the incompletion on first, now hey, second and 10. Hey, 57, 57. Come on, baby. Why, 15, 15, 15. Right side. Throwing now is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. I got him. I got him. All me. All me. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. I'm coming. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Hey, what? Fight on these two. Fight on these two. SOS. 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 Working from the gun, Mahomes. Dancing to his left. And he is going to be run down. What a disaster there. A huge loss. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. At their own 33-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> yeah. You think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. 
He's airing it out for Sanu. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mohamed Sanu, 67 yards. And the Patriots get a score closer. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 75 yards and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead not a whole lot to recap on that drive just one play 75 yards to the house yeah it's a long way to go and remember rarely is it a straight line 75 yards too gotta have a little extra in there so whatever the final number is a well-deserved seat on the bench a little oxygen if he wants it as well Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. That was well coached and even better executed because you saw him looking for the cutback lane, never materialized, and had excellent pursuit to stack that play up. Wait, 53! Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Easy. Check 50. Check safety, check safety. Check three, check three, check three. Sugar, sugar. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Facing short yardage on third down, but he was able to pick up a very sizable game. He certainly was, and I think that maybe they were fooled a little bit because you and I both know this is a passing league, and that's not normally a running down, and they fooled him with it. Safety had to make the play. Otherwise, he's still running. And, it and now here is another interception. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. Edelman, the intended receiver that time.